all right welcome to part two of the video on how to use ai and both to automate several tasks and do a lot of stuff on your phone probably you're a student you are seeing this video for the first time make sure you can just subscribe this is a part two video so if you haven't watched part one make sure you go back to that one so here we'll be starting with from where we stopped you grab so now let's go straight to the deal of the day now we already stopped at chat that writing your first title writing your subtitle let's say you want to create an ebook or you want to create a video course you want to create an online training just tell shagibc to do the same for you okay give me titles idea for a training talking about amazon kdp okay give me titles idea talking about affiliate marketing give me a cash or give me attention grabbing titles for this and that just is whatever you know that you write inside your shagibc and to give you some ideas for it so just make sure you like you move around this website and it's going to do a lot of stuff for you so now maybe reason why i said you should always copy and write them down your keep notice that let's say you are you you are doing um, you are talking about amazon kdp or you are writing an ebook on amazon kdp and you have a friend or probably me i'm also writing an ebook on amazon kdp you know both of us we are using chat gpt let's say both of us are watching this video how will you do it to make sure that it's not writing the same thing you know, you are writing the same, you are watching this video, you are following the step, and your friend or probably your colleague, any of your brothers, they are also doing the same thing. So you don't want it to be different, the same, you don't want it to be the same. That's down your put your own or your advantage. There's always a unique tone, we call something unique tone, something that is peculiar to you, like something that is just, that people are now wondering, okay, whenever they see this thing, they know that it's always accolade. I mean, whenever you read any of my ebook, I always add stories. Like, there's no how you have written like three ebooks. If you read any of them, you always feed the story. Like, I had my personal stories, stories that sometimes it might not be personal, it might be something that maybe that is happening around me or around my neighbors or in my school or in my community or something that is just so special to me. So, that will make, that will make you remember what I've written. Then, that will add more things to it. Not just something that I can just see on Google and go like that. You grab. So once I'll add something, you no, know, there are some books that you read and you never forget the content inside. The main reason why you don't forget is because of the stories inside and because of some added content, some quotes, some titles, some this and that, some things that are added, some pictures. So you want to add your own fair advantage or whatever you are doing. So right now, you do you do one one thing for me. You already have your book. You already have your title you have the subtitle of the book or probably you are you are creating in an online course maybe an online trainings or free training or something so you already asked agbt to give you the ideas now you want to look at you want to download this app again called grammarly i believe a lot of people have it but most people still don't know what grammarly is used for grammarly is not an automating app it's not something but it's used for in your vocabularies and all of them so it will help you for vocabulary and synonyms so grammarly is very very good grammarly just error checking and all of them so let's say i'm, I'm updating the app right now this is the interface of the app so you make sure you download it so for, with grammarly you can now change the synonyms let's say here you are using let's say you are using um, what is this word that is very common to online business you are using let, let, let's go to my keynote now like keep note this is the aspect like this is the content that we generated the other time like why like, what's our marketing or what's our monetization idea so what's our monetization or monetization this and that let's say maximizing so if i want to change this maximizing i want to find another word to replace maximizing what i want to do is that i'll just switch this keyboard to grammarly so i long press the keyboard then i change it to grammarly like this so immediately you switch to Grammarly, you can see something on my screen that when I type some word like this, it you see change spelling. So this one that you can see on my screen, this one is telling me that okay, this one is not correct, this one is correct, or so once I type on it like this, so I'll be able to what is happening again. So, so right now I already tap on it and it's giving me some errors that this like this content is having. So I should fix the agreement. Courses add a knife in. So it's now telling me some error. That's why you can see some flyers. They just mistakenly write some content inside it's because they don't proofread it. I call it proofreading. So you want to make sure that what you are writing is 
correct, your English, your use of words, your use of hyphen, use of punctuation mark is correct. You grab. So you use your grammarly to correct all of them. Use your grammarly to correct and fix the errors that are inside. Then so once you have done, you won't see any error again. So grammarly is having a premium, but I use the free version. I use the free version. There's one time like that. There was one time like that. Our friend shared me the paid version. I use it. It's awesome. So I, if you have the money, you can go for it. Or if you have the need, or maybe you are you work as a freelancer, as a writer, or something. But me, I don't really work as a writer like that. What I just do, that is basic things. I can easily use my initiative to correct you grab. I can use this grammarly as well alongside you grab. So I don't really need more of premium grammarly. So, is it, are you tired of countless words on phone? Look for this one. This is another text that I've generated. So let's go back to the one that we were using. So this one, this one, where is it now? Okay, this one. Well, we are talking about what's our monetization. So let's say I'm having a, like there's a let's say there are errors in this place. These are to display like this one that you're seeing. This place. Change spelling, monetization, the WhatsApp. So it will just tell you the error. Then this is what I'm talking about. Like, let's say I want to change this cash, like this guy now. This let's say revenue, for example, or maximizing. If there are synonyms for it, it will just show. But make sure your data is on while you are using Grammarly so that you can easily see the synonyms or you can see the best things that will be related to it and you can also let's change the words that are inside so here now is that this word basically maybe they are just keywords like some words that are not having synonyms turning i think my my data is like is fluctuating that's the issue that's why it's not giving me synonyms but when i see what is what i'm talking about i will show you let's go back now so you already have grammarly you have chrome you have your chat gpt with you You've already gotten the title right, you've gotten the subtitle, your name will be the inside. Maybe probably my calculator, or your you want to add your brand name, you want to add your rename to your ebook or something. So you already have that one in place. Then you go to grammar and to oh GPT to give you the content. What I mean by content is what will be inside. So what is inside is maybe probably you want to write about monetization, like ways to monetize ebook. So give me seven like seven ways ways to monetize monetize your whatsapp some ways to monetize your whatsapp you can see that this one is already correcting me you see grammarly and this thing they are working together and in now these are the things that i do that make my work so fast i don't know them so just is already typing some ways to monetize your whatsapp so just chill and relax my network is just not stable you you see them is already typing so it's already typing in as much this three dot that is at the lower left lower right corner here is working so as in as an AI language module, this and that, I can provide a case. It's like this one is having limitations. But I'm going to, if you are using what you call, if you are using a laptop to view this video, what you can do for me is that just go to your, you know, how you search for Chrome extension now. Just search for Chrome extension, then start for ChatGPT. Then install your Chrome extension for, for ChatGPT. But if you are using your phone, don't worry. So as an AI, I can provide you with seven potential ways that you can use to monetize your WhatsApp account. So one is affiliate marketing. You can see it. you can use your WhatsApp account to promote affiliate product and a commission for every sales that you made. Two, sponsor content. Brand may pay you to promote their brand or services. That's two. Then the third one, just wait and see. You can see it's coming up with content. It's coming up with content. So these things, these are faster ways to do stuff. These are faster ways. Just generate ideas from all this AI. Then use your Grammarly to correct your errors. Then use your Grammarly to exchange those words. Maybe if they are using power, yeah, you can use authority. If they are using consequences, you can use 
we can use something that is related that is synonymous or is or something you can use and um, let's say they are using uh, complicated you can say complex you can say add you can use synonyms things that are very like they are really tasty paid subscription service you can offer exclusive content to your subscriber and charge a monthly or yearly subscription for it consulting service if you have expertise in particular field you can offer consulting service to your whatsapp account i do this particularly I offer I do consultation for people that want to ask questions about marketing, about gadgets, about their phones or probably their business. They have any issues. They, they come to me for advice. So digital product, this I sell digital product personally. So these are real stuff. These are not just any old stuff. These are things that have been working. So you can just copy all this one like this. Copy them. Add your own initiatives to it, but don't copy word for word and just write one stupid book or one boring book that is not having a story, no quotes, no no ideas or nothing like it's related. You know, you your content, if you want people to you want your content to be at the top of people's head. You want it to be relatable. You want it to be something that you've done personally you've done personally or probably is something that a lot of people can easily relate to. For example, now most people, when you talk about lead magnet, you talk about contact list, you talk about WhatsApp reviews, they don't know the difference. When you talk about prospect, you talk about ID customer. They don't really know what is the meaning of all these things. They don't be wondering, okay, what's the meaning? So now let's ask. So, you no, know, this method may require to have a large and engaged audience. See, now, now you can see that audience is very, very important. If I haven't gotten my course on audience building on WhatsApp, like I have a course tied to more like beyond your WhatsApp views. Beyond what WhatsApp views is that how you can build audience, how you can turn those audience to customers, how you can convert them. So it's a very good cause actually. You can get it. I think it's like five thousand for pre order and ten thousand for the reply or something. So it really really help you. So audience building is very very important. So now we want to get. Remember we were talking about like how you can monetize your WhatsApp. Let's see. I let me just long press all these things out. And select them long press like select all them copy so i already copied this one but right now i want to ask ChatGPT to give me ideas on how i can i what let's say i want to these are content these are the things i can put inside the ebooks i can give me okay give me quotes i want to add quotes i want to add some things that people have said in the past about whatsapp so you can browse that one online. You can might not use ChatGPT. No ChatGPT is limited to something. So you can just go online and say, and say something like quotes related to quotes, quotes related to quotes about about marketing and sales or something. You can just you can see quotes about making money exactly. So this one quotes about making money just. You can use it to double your money to fold it in half, put half in your bo- put it in your bucket, back pocket or something. So just find quotes that are related to that particular thing that I want to talk about. Then make sure you put the title, like the author's name. Don't just cut the author's name away. It's very very wrong. You grab. So you can maybe you add quotes from someone. Can just put their name in your ebook. So with that one, your ebook will be different from what you can easily see on YouTube. Or something that they can easily just see any way you grab. So these are real things I'm doing. I'm doing that personally. It's just that my ebooks they are something that I've done. Then something that I really have the knowledge. Uh, this thing I've been doing it for the past two years. I've already been talk- I've been selling digital products for the past two years. I really know so much about it. There's virtually anything I want to tell me that I don't know about digital product or selling digital product or creating courses, selling courses, selling digital services. You grab. So I'll be doing this thing personally. I know so much about them. There's no uh, so I can't just be writing ebooks on crypto now. I don't know anything about crypto. The only thing I know about crypto is that how you to verify Binance app and you download Trust Wallet. Then probably you want to buy, you want to do P2P trading on Binance. That's the only thing I know. So I can't just be writing ebooks on how to trade on Binance, how to trade on Trust Wallet, how to buy coin on Roku or something. I can't be writing content on that. Except if you want to. It's also something called ghostwriting. So you can do ghostwriting for people. You can write for them. You can add your own story. You can just when you want to do it for your friend or for for a marketing purpose, just ask them about some stories they had. Maybe they are 
students' testimonies, their own testimonies, how they how they are able to cope why they they are in bullish markets, bearish markets, how they do this one and that you grow up. So those stories that you add personal things that is relating to your country, things that are going on in your country, that are going on in your market, how you do them. So all this one, these are the things that will make you different from just ordinary ebooks. You grow up. So then you the preface. The preface you work very well on that one. I will advise you to just write down the preface. What I mean by preface is that like introduction to the ebook. Like for me now, I always start with story or I start with question. I always start with story whenever I'm writing my ebook. All of them go and, go and read them. I have a book titled How to Handle Difficult Customer. It's, an, it's a very good ebook where over 1,000 people have read it. So I also have an ebook on how to break the addition of load. How to get out of the addition of loan, like you grab like people now just like pawn addition and all this, all this and pawn addition and and what what again, the all this pornography and all of them you grab. So most people they they are addicted to all those loans, they are getting money from loan up, so they are now used to it. They are having a lot of loan to pay, so that's why I wrote the book getting. Uh, breaking the chains of loan addiction. So it's a very great ebook that you might want to add to your gallery. Like it's very good. You can download it. It's free of charge. I wrote it on Valentine's Day just to celebrate and give it to people that are borrowing money. <laughs> so some people, you know, they just borrow money anyhow to just say we are there. You, they are very good or something. So I also have courses on WhatsApp marketing, WhatsApp, and all of these things. So I. Do research a lot about ChatGPT with ChatGPT. I ask questions. What are these things? What are the things that is affecting people? What are the challenges? What are the solutions you grab? So, these are the things I'm doing personally that I'm also helping you with. So, we already have our title, we have our subtitle, we have our content idea. So, you want to look at the formatting. You know, there's something we call ebook formatting. What I mean by ebook formatting is that how you want to write the format, like the format you want to use for your own, sh- for your own ebook. Say you are starting with, let's say you. For example, now let us assume you have an ebook or you have a, an ebook with you, or you have a paperback, you have a, an ebook an e with you. Just look at the book. They have, they always start with a subtitle and with the title, subtitle, author's name. That's what should be in the front page, right? So now they, you can have something we call, call preface. Preface or introduction. Preface is like this. Let me type it on my phone so that you can see. Preface like this. Preface. So you can just write the preface. You can write introduction. You can start with behind the scenes or something. So you write the preface yourself. Preface is just like what they can see inside the book, what they be getting, or what they should anticipate in the from the book or from your own ideas or something, or from your own like what you want to say about the ebook or what people are saying you grab about the book. So you have study how books are written. There are studies on ebooks that you've written or on some ebooks that you've read before. Look at the structure, look at the format. So you can from there you can write your own ebook if you haven't written any before you grab. So now to avoid wasting our time, we already talk about Shaggy PT. So you do the same thing to create ebook. So this is just the normal ways. If I want to help you big time, I'll just there's one video that I created on how to use Google Docs. To create your own ebook, so all the formatting, all those changing colors, by adding bold italics, word, adding links to your video, to your ebook, and all of them, you can do it with Google Docs. So if you if I'm permitted, <laughs> if I'm permitted, let me use the word. I will add it to this series. I will add it. I just download it from Google Drive. I put it on my YouTube channel so that you can easily see the video and use it. So don't forget that. You download your key plot, you use your grammarly to change the word. Then this ChatGPT just like you can do virtually a lot of stuff with it. You can get ideas with with ChatGPT. You can get uh, targeting. Like you want to you want to find people that you can target on Facebook. Just just come to ChatGPT, search for something like blah blah blah. Just search. It's good like that. Now, in my third video, this one is getting like 20 minutes already. So in my third video, I'll be talking about how you can use Snapseed and your face app or how you can 
you just do some basic automation on your whatsapp so but we start we we'll be starting with snapseed and facetap so that one is amazing and that one is going to help you so remember we are talking about both automation and scheduling tasks like things that you can do to make sure that you are not wasting so much time on stuff and you are using the latest trend to move forward so i'm still michael Cole. see you in my next video thank you